In this lesson, we're going to focus on multiplying two numbers in scientific notation. So let's start with this example. Let's say if we have 4 times 10 to the 4, and we wish to multiply it by 2 times 10 to the 3. How can we do this? Now the first thing we need to do is multiply the numbers 4 and 2. 4 times 2 is equal to 8. Next, we can focus on 10 to the 4 times 10 to the 3. So what is 10 to the 4 multiplied by 10 to the 3? Well, since the bases are the same, we are allowed to add the exponents. So then this is equal to 10 raised to the 4 plus 3, which is 10 to the 7. So the answer is 8 times 10 to the 7. And that's a simple way in which you can multiply two numbers in scientific notation. Don't forget to add the exponents. Now let's try another example. Let's multiply 3 times 10 to the 5 by 2 times 10 to the 7. So this is going to equal 3 times 2 multiplied by 10 raised to the 5 plus 7. 3 times 2 is 6. 5 plus 7 is 12. So the answer is 6 times 10 to the 12. Now it's your turn. Feel free to pause the video and try this example. Multiply 3 times 10 to the 7 by 3 times 10 to the 8. So let's start by multiplying 3 by 3. And then let's add the exponents. It's going to be 7 plus 8. So 3 times 3 is 9. 7 plus 8 is 15. And that's all you need to do. Now let's try some harder examples. Let's multiply 8 times 10 to the 5 by 7 times 10 to the 6. So first, we need to multiply 8 by 7. And just as before, we need to add 5 and 6. 8 times 7 is 56. And 5 plus 6 is 11. So we have 56 times 10 to the 11. Now, this number is not in proper scientific notation. We need this number to be more than 1 but less than 10. So therefore, we need to move the decimal from um, here one unit to the left. So if we move it one unit to the left, what's going to happen to the exponent? Will it decrease by one or increase by one? So if we decrease the number 56 to 5.6, we need to increase the exponent such that the number remains the same. So anytime you move the decimal point to the left, the exponent should increase by one value. So this is going to be 5.6 times 10 to the 12. Now, if you want to prove it, here's what you can do. 56 is the same as 5.6 times 10. 5.6 times 10 is 56. And we still have 10 to the 11. 10 is the same as 10 to the 1. And 1 plus 11 is 12. So therefore, we get the final answer, 5.6 times 10 to the 12. So make sure you understand this. Anytime you move the decimal point one unit to the left, the exponent will increase one unit in value. Let's try another example. So 9 times 10 to the 4 multiplied by 6 times 10 to negative 7. Take a minute and try that example. So this is going to be 9 times 6 times 10 raised to the 4 minus 7. Or you could say it's like 4 plus negative 7, which is the same as 4 minus 7. 9 times 6 is 54, and 4 minus 7 is negative 3. So let's move the decimal one unit to the left. So the exponent is going to increase by 1. So this is going to become... 5.4 times 10 to the negative 2. Now, for those of you who like to show the work, here's what you could do. So let's start with this number again, 54 times 10 to negative 3. So you need to realize that 5.4 times 10 is 54. And this is 10 to the 1. And so we need to add 1 plus a negative 3, and that's equal to negative 2. 
So you can show your work like that if you want to. And that's it for that problem. Go ahead and multiply 30 times 10 to the 6 by 40 times 10 to the 5. So this is going to be 30 times 40 and then 10 to the 6 plus 5. Now 30 is 3 times 10, and 40 is 4 times 10, and 6 plus 5 is 11. Now 3 times 4 is 12. 10 times 10 is 100, or we could say it's 10 to the second power. 1 plus 1 is 2. And then we can add 2 and 11, which will give us 13. So the final answer is 12 times 10 to the 13. And that's it. So now you know how to multiply two numbers using scientific notation. Now there's one more thing I almost forgot to do. We can't have 12 because it's greater than 10. So I'm going to have to move the decimal one unit to the left. So this is going to be 1.2 times 10 to the 14. And so that's the final answer in proper scientific notation. Now let's talk about dividing two numbers using scientific notation. Let's start with a simple example. 18 times 10 to the 7 divided by 6 times 10 to the 3. So what do you think we need to do here? The first thing I would do is divide 18 by 6. And then when you divide two numbers with the same base, you can subtract the exponents. So this is going to be 10 to the 7 minus 3. Now, 18 divided by 6 is 3, and 7 minus 3 is 4. So the answer is 3 times 10 to the 4, which, if you want to convert that to standard notation, you need to move the decimal 4 units to the left. So this is equal to 30,000. Now let's work on another example. Try this one. 36 times 10 to the 5 divided by 4 times 10 to the negative 4. So first, let's divide 36 by 4. And then we need to subtract the top number by the bottom number. So 36 divided by 4 is 9. And 5 minus negative 4 is the same as 5 plus 4 and 5 plus 4 is positive 9. So the answer is 9 times 10 to the 9. 10 to the 9 is a billion, by the way. 10 to the 3 is a 1,000. 10 to the 6 is a million. And 10 to the 9 is equal to 1 billion. So this number is really 9 billion. Here's another example. 63 times 10 to the negative 5 divided by 9 times 10 to the negative 9. So first let's divide 63 by 9. And then we're going to subtract negative 5 by negative 9. The top number minus the bottom number. So 63 divided by 9 is 7. And negative 5 minus negative 9 is negative 5 plus 9. And negative 5 plus 9 is the same as 9 minus 5, which is positive 4. So the answer is 7 times 10 to the positive 4. Let's try one more example. 144 times 10 to the negative 8 over 9 times 10 to the negative 3. So this is going to be 144 divided by 9. And then it's going to be negative 8 minus negative 3. 144 divided by 9 is 16. Negative 8 minus negative 3, these two will become positive. So negative 8 plus 3 is negative 5. Now 16 is 1.6 times 10. And that 10 is 10 to the 1. So what we need to do is add 1 and negative 5. 1 plus negative 5, which is the same as 1 minus 5, that's negative 4. So the final answer is 1.6 times 10 to the negative 4.
So now you know how to multiply and divide two numbers in scientific notation.